All right, man. We reacting to uh Gilbert Arena saying Booker is KD's best teammate ever. He's saying Booker is better than Curry, Clay, Kyrie, James Hart. But when you look at Book compared to some of the, the younger guys in the league, that younger generation, has he separated himself from some of the other young guys with this postseason performance? Listen, I think, no, no for sure. I, he was separated a long time ago. When he had 72, he was separated. But, he definitely was very early before before niggas was just scored 60 70 and randomly like mitchell and dame randomly scoring all them points this guy was the first and niggas is like oh my gosh that was a great defensive boston team boston yeah, no, yeah. that was a great defensive boston team he put that on because he was in phoenix no one actually was respecting what he was doing. They didn't understand what they were seeing. They didn't understand the poise that he plays with. You're talking about a guy who plays like he's a real veteran mm -hmm. from the age of 21. I mean, he's played with veteran poise this whole time. He's just been in a, a, a situation where it wasn't, he didn't have no winners around him. Like he just been, there's been, like he should, like when you look back on it, you, we're going to look back at his numbers and be like, hey man, why is he only like a three-time All-Star, four-time all -star? where's the 20 straight All-Stars? Mm -hmm. And that's, that's, he's been that type of player. Yeah. I think, I think the additional uh, bringing KD over mm -hmm. is helping out a lot. It too. brings the light on like, it. Like, oh, this, whoo. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So he's able to get, you know, more buckets, easier buckets, mm -hmm. too, and things like that. So I always felt like once KD got over there, he was going to be able to up his game even more. So, you know. Now, this is, this is, now, this is a hot take. Mm -hmm. This is a hot take right here. Now, to say it, forget the championship rings. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. Forget championships and the, the final product, right? Is this, is this player... What we're seeing, the best sidekick that Kevin Durant has ever played with. Girl, you start some shit right now. I forgot Westbrook. Booker's a bucket, though. When it comes to, like, pure shooting and everything, he got the whole package. Westbrook just shoot the ball better. That's all you needed. You got more energy and more anything than these niggas, bro. Look, look, Brandon. Look what at Brandon. You would call him a sidekick to Katie. No, right? what I'm saying is, when you're talking about every, it's about just game, just their game themselves. Like so when game. you're talking about Kyrie with him, yeah, you're talking about Steph with him, you're talking about Russ with him. Is this been the best player? Just for this postseason run, no, since they've been just, together. Just he's been. Since they've been, that's tough. You see what I'm saying? Like, I know, that's, like, man. listen, I know St Steph got two championships. Yeah, yeah, so we're, I, I know, we're, yeah. The first thing we want to say is Steph. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but and Steph, not, yeah. Was Steph average, what, 20, 26? Right? I'm talking about just the production that's with him. Like, is this 37 a game? I mean, shit. Like, how long, like, what was, since they've been together, he's in the yeah. 30s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you talk about Steph, you also got a, that Warrior squad was loaded, so they were able to distribute the scoring a little bit. I know, better. I know. Where you, when I'm saying you look at this Sun squad, Aiden ain't really been doing shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm just talking about just, uh, just a one person, like him and Kyrie. Like, I'm not saying he's better than this player, this player. I'm just talking about these two. Like, mm -hmm. like who do you take when you talk about two? You, do, you take Steph and him, Booker and him, Russ and him, <coughs> or Kyrie and him. Which one is the Man. two that you take? Man. Honestly, I, you know. Right? That's a fucking, I mean. I would love to start some shit right now, but probably still Steph. Just. I was about to say, like, it's still Steph. Yeah, I'm about to say, still Steph still? Probably. Like, I mean, like, like him and Steph still? Because I'm. We, we, we say that because we know it ended in two championships. We know no, that. No, not just. I just like how Steph even won it without him. So no, like, but that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying like Steph can hold his own. So I'm not like, talking about the player. That's what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the player. Like we know Steph is probably the best point guard that ever played. I'm, I'm just talking about to them together on how they perform together. 
But are, are you taking the 2017, 2018 Steph? Like, can I take that Steph and replace him with Booker on the Suns team? And how would that Steph and KD perform on this? Wait, wait, Steph, which, which Steph and KD? I'm saying, so we can go what? Shit. Steph and KD. Mm-hmm. No, the Steph and KD that played those two years together. So if which I take, one, whatever, which one you want to take. But can I take that Steph and replace him with D Book on this Sun Squad right now? And how would that team be performing? No, we're not talking about I'm the performance saying, of the team. I'm just saying, if, if Steph now replaced Booker on this current Sun Squad, that then Steph it, from that era, you put him on this current squad, get rid of Book. How would the Suns look right now in this postseason? Is my point. Mm, who knows? Because that would be some some major cooking going on. But that's what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not knowing. I'm just talking about okay. just the, 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 the time of when the, the two guys are together. So you can put, so Steph got two years, whatever year you want with Steph. That, them, so them, play them. NBA Jam, basically. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We're, we're some NBA Jam. You know, you know that, that KD and Book, it just looked good. It See, just, that's look, what I said. It's just, so, it just the, the style of play. Like, they just both smooth, wow. both like. I don't know. It's just it's beautiful. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to figure out. I, those well, Katie was a different player too. I that know. Point. That's what I'm saying. I'm, like Katie might be a little bit lower, but Book might be a little bit higher. But it's NBA Jam style. Which one? Thirty-seven, seven, and five through nine games. You know what I mean? Like so. That's what I'm saying. He might be the, the he might be the KD, and KD is like the the second one. But who's which? Which two is the one you'd be like ah man. Because you got you got the Kyrie and KD, that's gonna be some shake and bakes. Yeah. Right? You got some shakes and some shake and bakes. So with him and uh, Russ, it's gonna be more athletic. Yeah, I don't like him and Russ. <laughs> it's gonna be more athletic, brute ball. And then you got him and um, Curry. That's gonna be some. Well, you might you might be twenty straight shots. There might be no misses in that that match. But well, would you put James in there too? I mean, James, they played together in Brooklyn, no? Not really. Yeah, that, uh, not, was, not enough of a sample size. Not, a, not, not of a, yeah, it's not of a, because okay. not. What's funny is I was literally thinking about that, but I'm like, I'm going to let Gilbert just pass him up, but just the simple fact, respect Kyrie and being a guard. One know? of them got to be dominant. See, we got to see him and Steph be dominant together. Yeah. We got to see him and Kyrie be dominant. And now we're seeing him with him in books. So I was just trying to. Probably, wait, 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 probably wait. still Steph. Probably like, still wait, Steph. him and Kyrie were dominant? Yeah, you're right. They wasn't even dominant. No, nah, I mean, they it was a janky dominant. time. Man. It, was it was a janky time. But you can pull about 40 games and like, oh, okay, they, 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 they got some good, they got some good combos in here yeah. at their peak as the, you know, so I'll probably have to go, go, with, probably have to go with him and Steph and then D book. Him and D book. Okay, that's good. Yeah. yeah which is, what so, if they win a championship and they both playing the same and D book is still averaging about 32 to 35. I mean, D book would be Finals MVP, so. Yeah, okay. I'm just checking, just it, checking. It'd be, it'd be a good game. game is smooth, so I'm not, fighting. I'm not fighting. It's, I'm it's just hard, it's just hard because we know Steph is who Steph is, and they won. And, like, we're looking at this deep. Okay, are we surprised D-Book is averaging 37? I am. No, I'm not. With KD? We didn't expect, come on. I always felt like I always felt like when KD came over, he was going. To, this was he an did opportunity say that. that he was going to have his breakout year, and, oh. and everything was going to be just on him. So <laughs> always. I mean, she had 72, 70. So I, I, I I'm gonna say 37. Yeah, I wouldn't have thought that yeah, much. Okay. I thought he was gonna cook, of course. I thought he was gonna. Be, I thought he was gonna be about 28. I didn't think 37. 30, that's but, why. That's why it made me think. I'm like 30. Man, he gonna be averaging 45. Shit, I said it. He ain't winning the championship though. I said, wait, hold on. Lakers winning it all. Is this? <laughs> he's hooping because he got, you know, that's what made me ask the question because it was like the 37 during the like wait hold on this is different yeah, yeah. okay i mean you My can bad. say a clipper series no Kawhi, no pg obviously it's a different look for that clipper squad easier for him to get those buckets but this this nuggets team yeah and he's not dating a kardashian right now so he's got the kardashian curses he, he off. got the he got he's he clean clean that's what he's right so this is something i want to ask you about a lot of people on the internet have been trying to kind of compare d book's game obviously he's his own player but who does devin booker's game remind you of Ooh, he's smooth you like b-roy brandon Not, I'm, Not I'm trying to think like Joe Johnson. Um, Joe Johnson. Oh, ISO, right? ISO Joe. ISO, ISO Joe was crazy. 
Rashad Phillips said Allen Houston. And I can see it to some degree, but Allen, 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 two dribbles most. Uh, just yeah. Two dribbles max, maybe three. Yeah. Um, Joe Johnson, I like Joe Johnson. Just, like, I'm thinking about that that guy who who can't shoot the three, killed you on on the mid-range pull-ups, had the dribbling, had the pick and roll. You know, that more that ISO Joe style. Um, Ray. Early Ray. Early Ray. Early Ray. Early, early, early Ray Allen. Okay. Milwaukee Ray Allen. Yeah, that, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, he's faster than like a Paul Pierce. Um, not quite Kobe style. Actually, no, he got his own kind of style. He got, yeah, that's what I said. Like, it's kind of like good because we don't actually have anybody yeah. in, as a two part yeah. that's smooth like that. So it's like he's probably the first one. Like he'd go full speed and boom. Yeah. Pull up. You thought he was about to come at you, just up, oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, let's take this thing to the Eastern Conference, and we'll see. In the future, we're going to see, you know, we're going to be like, oh, he played like D-Book. So it's <laughs> good, you know? It's a good, good to have your own thing. Yeah, and, and, you know, I never like comparing guys, but when you see some similarities, of course, you got to point mm-hmm. it out. Just it, it helps to really pay homage to the old school. Agent Zero. Hey, man, I need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. You feel me? Uh... That's crazy. That's crazy. But Katie and Steph, but Lakers and Lakers and five.